This is the future. Is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and this has been a very long time since I've been here so in this video we have completed the whole army section the whole military section is done and we have built all these components that I'm showing you here let's check it out so before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. Okay, so last time we did the village and the reason why it took so long to come back is I had issues with my profile and I actually lost my purchased game because of Microsoft um, account that suddenly didn't recognize my email address and it actually caused me to delete the entire profile and then I had to um, re-establish a new profile and I had to get back into the game so I was able to start up the game again from Game Pass and luckily I was saving my world every week I saved it into a different file so once I was able to get Minecraft back I just reloaded up my world and we just continued from there and um, unfortunately this means I'm playing a non-purchased version with, with uh, Game Pass itself um, which really pisses me off because I'm not gonna buy the game again and that's that I, I, I will not buy the game again and unfortunately now I have to pay two different profiles because I couldn't delete the, the, the game pass profile and now I'm paying for two profiles of which I don't have access to the one so that sucks okay but anyway let's get back to the build so because I ran out of space I had to use this little island on this side of the river to create my entire military organization so as you guys can see we start off with the army forge which I built here then on our right hand side is the barracks so it's pretty straightforward forge and uh, not anything strange you've got some cauldrons you've got your fire you've got your crafting table smithing table and a couple of anvils and some extra equipment that you need to make equipment with Chasing the stars. I did build quick access points on the outside wall so that you can get up to the wall as soon as possible. And I also built these little um, stone paths that goes around each building. Um, just for patrol reasons and to make it easier for you to maneuver around every structure. Here we are at the barracks and the dorms. So um, what I did add to the barracks, which was not on the original plan, was the armory. So first of all, this looks exactly like it looks in the manual. And um, so I've got no reason or idea what the reason for the, the separation is there. But anyway, I did use it um, to my benefit. So I decided this will be then the sleeping place for the, um, the soldiers, not for the soldiers, for the um, instructors and uh, most higher ranked personnel your lieutenants and your corporals whatever they had in that time Here you've got a fully stocked armory you've got uh, uniforms you've got some armory for horses you've got weapons TNT and even some fireworks and um, so on then as you go outside we're gonna go to the dormitories where you have all your soldiers sleeping I decided to put them all in the same yard here we've got the armor for the soldiers and we've got bunk beds 
where all your soldiers will be sleeping with some um, chests where they can put all their personal belongings. Heading out to the back, I created a training area where the archers can train the archery and the well, swordsmen or your frontline men can exercise on the dummies who are sword fighting. So um, you've got your training area here. And you'll see there's a lot of animals walking around you because there were animals that was actually already on this island and I didn't want to remove them or kill them so they are free range and free roaming all over the place. Now the keep was supposed to be part of this area but unfortunately I didn't know how big the training area and stuff is going to be so I actually lost space. This is the animal sheds, this will be where you keep the dogs, so it's more like dog kennels. Um, you will have hunting dogs or whatever, you'll put them there and then you'll have horses on this side. And of course inside is the place where the person that keeps the animals fed will be staying here. This is our training arena where people can fight, we can do um, some sport events and uh, all kinds of stuff that you can use this arena for but this is mainly for training and we can also use it then for entertainment purposes. Maybe if we have some jousting or some tournaments we can have it inside this training arena. There's also two doors here that goes into the back where you can have gym equipment, locker rooms and where your soldiers can get dressed or undressed or even the infirmary. If they get injured you can do a quick field medic type thing there and then you can transport them to the hospital if they are seriously injured. So as you guys can see we ran out of space um, which left me with no other option but to terraform that area of the river into a spot for the keep because the keep is much bigger than I thought. It's actually very big. So what am I going to do with this wasted space on the right hand side? Well, I decided to build an aviary. Let's go check it out. This is a massive um, aviary slash garden with a big glass dome that covers the whole place to make sure the birds don't fly away. And I've put all kinds of tropical birds in here. So you'll find some macaws, African greys, blue parrots, green parrots and even a cockatiel or two. Um, and then the wife went on decorating the old area. So she put in the flowers, she put in the um, place where the birds can sit on, some perches. Um, I planted the trees though. And then she went on and built this um, big massive waterfall on our left hand side. So this will be then like a royal garden slash aviary for, well, for the queen or the king or whoever wants to come and just take a relaxing time. Actually, now that I think about it, what we should have added is maybe a bench or two. I think I'll go back later tomorrow or so and just add a nice bench where you can sit and relax and look at the birds and just chill.
putting these metal grids all over the roof to allow fresh air in and all the air all that out without having the birds actually fly out okay so this is then my entire military operation from here they'll get dispatched to the walls and dispatched to the rest of the city for defensive purposes but this build really turned out to be a massive build i'm so far away from my old house now i think um remember the past with my other places i built train stations and it took so long to drive there or so long to walk there but when you walk through the city it doesn't feel so long okay let's terraform this area quickly there we go it took me a while to terraform this area to build a mountain or a, a peak or whatever you want to call it just to uplift the whole thing because your keep is supposed to stand high to allow you to look over um, a wide uh, far distances to see if there's enemy coming so because my keep is all isolated and then to one side it's easier to attack the section you know if they want to attack me they can leave the whole city alone and just attack this point which is why I put lava all around the place I didn't put a moat with some magma rocks like here I actually put lava all around to make it even more difficult for people to enter I built the walls and then I made this little makeshift cave so that if you're in a boat, you can still travel underneath the whole place. Because I didn't want to restrict the flow of the river. The river was already here, I wanted to keep it natural. So if you have a boat, you can freely travel underneath the whole castle in a boat just here. Um, but yeah, the lava was a good touch. I had a couple of bad guys trying to get in already. Um, some pillingers or whatever. And they quickly found out that they can't get in. If you bring anything with wood close enough, it will burn. And the pillagers themselves actually burned. So this is where the keep is going to be. See how big this is? I worked it out exactly to size. So the keep's going to be standing that whole area full. So let's terror well, after terraforming that area, I decided to prepare it. I completed my walls, planted some flowers, planted some trees, and I made it look really nice. I made it look royally, so the, um, the king's place where he stays is much more homey than the rest of the build. Well, if you don't believe me, come check it out. keep is the very last piece that's going to be built once the keep is done then my entire build is done but the keep is a very it's going to be a very long process there's lots of rooms there's enchantment rooms there's wizards towers there's all kinds of goodies in the keep so that's going to be a whole video on its own but that's all that i still need to build is the keep then we are finally done with the entire fortress build I didn't build the trap rooms and all that nonsense, I didn't see any point in it. I did add a lot of my own touches and my own little places, but it just makes the place much more complete. I've added these two steps on this side and the other side for quick access to the walls. And I actually started thinking now that I should add a bridge from the entrance to the other wall, so that you can actually walk through the entire build on top of the walls from here to the other side without, have any, without having any hindrance in moving but yeah like I told you guys I didn't expect this thing to be so big I didn't know how it was going to look when I saw the manual the manual didn't describe to you how big it's going to be or how wide it's supposed to be the whole layout depended on you all I, need, uh, all I knew is that I had to have a big massive open space and well we had to make our own space and I'm very, very proud of what I've done and what I've accomplished over the last, what, about two months. So if you want to see the last, well, the second last video on how the keep looks and when I've completed the keep, you're going to have to subscribe to this channel. And you have to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified when the next video is going to be uploaded. So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And then... I'm going to start building the keep. Until next time guys, whatever you do, keep it safe. And until next time, cheers.